Hi everybody, this is Jim Duvall again. Today I'd like to go ahead and talk about a new feature that's available in uh, build number 314. If you look at the upper right hand corner, uh, you'll see the build number there. If your eyes aren't good enough to see that, you can go to the setup page and notice that the build number is shown there as well. Fuel tankering has always been one of those questions that on the surface appears to be a rather simple one. But when you try to get your arms around the many facets that affect the economics of hauling fuel around, the solution is actually quite complex. After speaking with a number of pilots on how they approach tankering, I've come to the realization that the first confusion with which pilots wrestle comes from a lack of orientation of what they are attempting to accomplish. Now what do I mean by that? It is important to visualize what is taking place. Consider this. You're sitting in the FBO at Airport A and have completed all of your pre-flight planning for a flight to Airport B, the Blue Lake. Fuel tankering has no relevance up to this point. It's not until you consider that later that day you will be flying from Airport B to Airport C. It's this leg, the red one, that is driving your fuel tankering solution. It's because you know that you will need to either have on board or upload some number of pounds before departing Airport B to complete the leg to Airport C. In our example, let's say you need 3,300 pounds. It is very important that you start with this mission in mind before asking fuel tankering questions. Without it, you will get all tangled up in endless regressions of logic. So let's turn our attention to the application. As I said, we are in the FBO at Airport A and I'm just finishing up the weight and balance for the blue leg flight to Airport B. We'll go ahead and save our passengers as they were before. You'll notice that it brings me to the fuel page. But let's just go back and look at our passengers. We see they're all still seated there. And the fuel page, we're going to go ahead and enter 9,000 pounds of uh, fuel on board for the flight, and I expect to burn off, we'll say 7,000 pounds. Now if I go over to my manifest page, you'll notice that everything is in black, so everything is within limits. I meet my reserves, and you'll notice that my takeoff weight is just under 32,000 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and accept this by pressing the button in the upper right hand corner. And this is going to start then our takeoff calculations, as we discussed in a previous video, so I'm not going to go through that again. But what I will do now is go back to the main page Go down to Resources and start my fuel tankering application. Note that the weight has already been entered into the takeoff weight box. Now as I previously said, the fuel tankering appears on the surface to be a very easy question to answer. In fact, if the takeoff fuel prices were expensive, let me just say $6 here, and it's a 3.5 hour flight, and the fuel price at our destination is cheap, we'll say $4 a gallon. And let's say that I'm going to fly at uh, on a long range cruise at, and we'll just say 27,000 feet and the conditions are normal ISA. Go ahead and close that. And if we run that application, as we would expect, we would purchase all of the fuel in the third column there, purchase all the fuel at our destination, Airport B. If on the other hand the fuel was very inexpensive at our departure point and the expensive at our destination, we would get, as we expect, beneficial to tanker all of the fuel. The question really becomes more interesting when we put in some realistic prices for departure and a realistic price for our destination. And we notice that if we leave the flight time three and a half hours, we get an answer that we might not expect that it was actually more beneficial to purchase all the fuel at our destination. If we back off on the flight time a little bit, it becomes more economical to, to actually carry that much fuel. You start noticing that you get a, a split in the amount of fuel that you purchase uh, at your destination and the amount that you tanker. So let's go back up to uh, three and a half hours flight time and let's start entering in now a rebate. Let's say we had to get a $250 rebate if we purchased 200 gallons of fuel. You get a solution where it is more beneficial to purchase the fuel all at your destination. 
uh, it's not up until 5,000 pounds to be added on that you actually start seeing where it was beneficial to tanker. However, if you were to reduce the flight time down to, let's say, two and a half hours, you'll notice quite a different solution where, in fact, if you wanted the 3,300 pounds uploaded, it would be actually beneficial to tanker 353 gallons. You're going to burn off 53 gallons, moving that amount of fuel for two and a half hours, and purchase the 200 gallons at the destination airport B and to take advantage of their fuel discount. And you'll save $40.52 over buying all the fuel at airport B or tankering it all from your departure point airport A. You'll also notice that if you scroll up, you'll see that there's a point at which the tankering just levels off. Uh, what you've reached here is the maximum amount of fuel that you can tanker for the altitude you're going to be flying at. And then the incremental fuel is just purchased at your destination, Airport B, and the savings is just leveled out as well. Okay, there is one last example we can show you. This would be the case where the FBO is offering you a $1 discount on your fuel if you buy so many gallons. So let me go back up here and we'll uh, adjust this price, kind of make it $6.25 for the normal selling price, and we'll put down in the rebate in dollars, five dollars and twenty-five cents if you buy two hundred gallons or more. Uh, and then we go ahead and run that result. And then you can see the result that follows. Well I hope that's been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Keep your eyes out for the next video which will be on the holdover in timetables. So long now.